it is Chili Gorilla here. Uh, just wanted to make this is my first video that I've uploaded. Uh, uh, I should really introduce myself, but that'll come in the next video. I really just want to make this video to uh, uh, talk about something and illustrate a point. You see, uh, especially with uh, if anybody watches the news anymore, uh, if you notice what's going on with Black Lives Matter and really the whole race debate between white and black, and I'm sorry if uh, you can hardly hear me, the gar uh, garbage truck just pulled up, but uh, you see, I, I really find myself sitting here thinking, uh, you know, where does all the hatred and animosity and just stress come from? And, you know, from my own personal experience, I've found that it rarely starts, uh, or it really, it very rarely actually stems from a, a, a disagreement that somebody has with somebody else. It's, nine times out of ten, even with myself, comes out of insecurity and fear. And, you know, so I have to, I find myself thinking, you know, why are, you know, Black Lives Matter people, say it's really loud, uh, why are Black Lives Matter people and, you know, anti-Black Lives Matter people really upset? And I really think it's because of a, a lack of it, a real and honest, clear information. And... One thing that I think a lot of people have taken way too seriously is these, here's the thing, these words, smart and stupid. Here's my core belief, one of them. There's no such thing as smart or stupid. Those are black and white definitive words. And when somebody is called stupid or smart and they start to think of themselves as stupid or smart, they think of it as an absolute. They are absolutely stupid, they can never become smart. If they're smart, they're absolutely smart, they can never become stupid. When in reality, neither one of those things actually exist. You see, because there's there's ignorance, and then there's wisdom. There's uh, being educated and being uneducated. There's being ignorant and being aware. There's being uh, foolish, and there's being uh, an adult. There's Really, the, the, what I'm trying to get to is stupid is a behavior, and behaviors change every second of the day. Smart is a behavior. It's not and reflective of who you are as a person. It's reflective of the choices you make and the decisions you make because your mind is an ever-changing, ever-evolving organism. You, your brain is not the same brain it was yesterday. Uh, so... Are, you know, if even if stupid was a thing, are you the same level of stupid you were yesterday? More than likely not. Because as you go through life, as you wake up every morning, and as you experience life, your brain changes. You change. And the characteristics that go along with you change as well. So, say you're an ignorant person to a particular topic of conversation or debate, whatever and you receive some new information that you previously did not have, you are now less arrogant. You are now less ignorant. And by menial definitions, less stupid. So can you even call anybody stupid if tomorrow they might not even be stupid? No. Because that just goes to prove that stupidity is an idea. It's not a characteristic. It's not a defining trait of somebody. It's a state of mind. So, you know, I often hear people tell me, man, you're so smart. No, I'm not smart. I'm educated. I'm aware. I pay attention. I give a damn. That doesn't make me any more capable or special or unique than anybody else. It just means that I allowed myself to care about certain things. And I think that's a big problem that we have here in America today is even, especially in the mainstream, it's being pushed that it's cool to not care. I mean, name... 10 songs, and I guarantee you can do it pretty quickly, of how many songs contain the lyrics, I don't give a fuck. And that's portrayed to be a good thing. Since when is not caring a good thing? Is it, I know it's supposed to be a defense mechanism to not allow the bad things in your life, but don't you understand that that also blocks out everything good? By saying, I don't give a fuck about anything. You're saying you don't give a fuck about anything good, you don't give a fuck about anything bad, you don't give a fuck about anything, why are you here? To me, somebody who truly believes that they don't give a fuck about anything is somebody who's about to put a gun barrel in their mouth and pull the trigger. And that's not a healthy place to be. That's not a, a good place you want to be in your life. And trust me, I've been there before, personally, many a times. And I had to dig hard within myself to find a reason to dig my way out. 
and you know I mean all that I can explain in a different in a later video but really the most important thing important message I want to get across in this video is you're not stupid but you're also not smart you're a human being who's growing and going through the changes of life who you are today is not who you're gonna be tomorrow and who you were yesterday should never and don't ever let it define who you are today or who especially in who you're gonna be in the future every day is a new opportunity every day is a fresh slate and if you don't believe that it's 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 something within yourself it's a it's a blocker in your own mind see whether it's misery or skepticism or whatever but that only that barricade that obstacle between you and giving a fuck you set up and it's up to you to knock it down you did it to yourself no one is responsible for your misery if if you let yourself think that anybody else or anything else is responsible for your misery you're going to end up wallowing in that misery forever because the world does not change people change and if you want to be one of those people that changes and stops being miserable and hopeless use that say i want to stop being hopeless i want to find some hope i want to make my own hope and trust me if you if you can and when you do find your own hope it's any other hope is a lesser form and it, it no longer is worthy as it doesn't qualify as hope to, in your mind anymore you, you, that's how you know that you're self-sufficient when any other way any other means is it's just not good enough for you so I just hope that whoever should happen to see this video takes this message home that you're not stupid you're a work in progress just stay working get back to work life is work and the job is never done but that's the beauty of the job is that because the job is never done you're always going to have something to do boredom and uh insecurity it's all fabrications of your brain all of that you convince yourself of that and the people who try to tell you that you were those ways are people who just didn't want you to be the good side of it they wanted you to stay in that mentality of, oh, you're right, I can't be that good, I can't do those things, so that they would have the time and the opportunity to surpass you. Or they just wanna see you lesser so that they don't have to feel so bad about themselves and, they, and the, that's the laziness in their mind of, you know, instead of trying to find a way to better myself, how can I make other people feel worse than I do to, you know, set the standard that I'm high, you know, I'm in a better state of mind than them. Yeah, all that effort into manipulating the situation that way could have gone into you actually becoming a better person and actually becoming better, for lack of a better word, than the people around you. So think about that and chilly grilly out. God bless. <laughs>